flying business class from Stockholm to Los Angeles. In this video, I am sharing my first ever experience traveling this way and why it was worth the upgrade. First off, we were really lucky and got upgraded for a very reduced price at the last minute. And since we were flying from Stockholm, we had a layover in London. So the first flight was only two hours. The perks on this shorter flight were that we had priority boarding. We could check in two luggages instead of one. So I checked in my hand luggage. The seats and the flight were similar to all the other seats, but what was really nice was that you get extra table space. So you have a shared table next to you as well as your own flip table. You get free beverages and food. I got a glass of sparkling wine and for the food you could choose between three different meals. I chose a delicious plate of roast beef with potato salad, side of various cheeses and a really nice dessert that I believe was a mango panna cotta. I also tried the roast chicken with potato gratin, and this was also a really great dish, especially the potatoes, super yummy. During the layover in London, we had access to the British Airways Airport Lounge. Lounge access are otherwise between $65 to $165 alone. So the fact that this was included was a huge perk. The lounge has showers, bedrooms, Wi-Fi, and plenty of workspace. But you know, the foodie that I am, I looked most forward to the food and beverages and it did not disappoint. They have various salad bars, warm foods like Indian curries, English classics like meat pies, scotch eggs, sandwiches, and also scones with clotted cream and jam. And since they have endless amounts of sparkling wine and champagne, tea and finger sandwiches, you can very easily have your own afternoon tea. Okay, so I got the smoked haddock fish cake and then I have a garbanzo bean and I think it's a garbanzo bean and rice salad and then like an Israeli salad or Israeli couscous salad. And then we have a proper British meat pie. It's a chicken and butter pie. And then we also have chicken tikka masala with rice and that looks like beets okay and then gin and tonic with prosecco okay the couscous was just okay so let's try the garbanzo bean salad that was cooling and refreshing which is very needed i'm really hot right now but i think i preferred this in front of the couscous It's got a little kick to it. Oh, wow, there's a sauce. It's like a bechamel sauce. Mmm. Mmm. That's like mashed potato, smoked fish, and a bechamel sauce. That's really good. I like that. Really like that. Okay. Chicken masala. Oh, this smells really good. Mmm. Wow. The pie. Wow. So flaky. Ooh. Mmm. This is like real winter food. Mmm. Mmm. It's garlicky. Oh, I think it was garlic butter chicken pie. Okay, and I think my favorite was this and the smoked haddock. Deserves a little dance. 
Okay, uh, I went back for the scones, but then I saw some new foods coming in. I have no idea what any of this is, but it looks yummy. And then I got some cheese. And I think this is English British cheddar. And this is Stilton, I think. I'm not sure, but I think. Mm. It's so good. Creamy, savory. Mm. Wow, I just opened the package and this clotted cream looks so different than the ones I get from Whole Foods in LA. But it's just like a white goo. This actually has that yellow coating on top. So I'm excited to try it. Scone, oh, oh. That wasn't the best. I didn't cut it the best way. Okay. Oh, that looks really, really good. Really good. Oop. Probably really inappropriate. Jam on top. Mm. Oh my god. So good. But on to the main event, which is the actual flight to Los Angeles. The seats were, of course, the first thing that I wanted to thoroughly check out as I was excited about the prospect of actually sleeping comfortably. I was happy to find that it was very spacious and also had a lot of storage space. They kindly left us things like bottles of water, a bag with flight essentials that I will go through a bit later, and noise-canceling headphones. The TV screens were definitely bigger than in Economy and Economy Plus, and you could maneuver it in different angles depending on if you're sitting or laying down on your recliner. The first thing we were offered after sitting down was either sparkling wine or orange juice, and after that we got wet cloths to refresh in. Then we got another round of drinks with some nut snacks. And not long after the snacks came the appetizer, which was a warm salad and a cold salad. They were both really refreshing and super tasty. For dessert, we had yet another round of different choices and I went with the lemon tart, which was insanely creamy and delicious. This could have been straight out of a bakery or patisserie. the food, I decided to recline and relax with the documentary and hopefully fall asleep. 
The seat also came with a quilt and pillow to really give you that comfort of a bed. A business class upgrade worth it? If you're traveling longer than six hours, then 100% yes. For a long haul flight like this one, which was a bit over 10 hours, a comfortable seat that allows you to sleep and rest is so essential. And the seat is truly the best part. Yes, priority boarding and the endless food and drinks are nice perks, but the comfort of this journey makes you feel like you can do the trip all over again instantly. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity that I'm super grateful for, but suffice to say that I will be saving my flight points so I can travel long haul flights like this again. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscription button and the bell button next to it to get notified for upcoming videos.